the seminar we had this uh, afternoon is to actually to bring the top management to uh, see the potential of data science to help produce official statistics um, and also to showcase the, the projects and also the um, uh, activities going on uh, in, in the use of big data for official statistics. Myself and my colleague have been assisting uh, the ACS part of UNECA on their um, emerging um, platform of creating a data science campus. So we've primarily come to offer assistance and capability building along the lines of, of data science and we've done this by delivering training and working in, in a strategic way uh, with our partners within UNECA. We try to explain what data science is without using any technical terms and what it can achieve, um, the challenges and we also provide some examples from the data science campus and we're trying to raise awareness on what the data science uh, can do uh, with big data or uh, with data that is not that big. Then the question arises is data collection, these are new and attractive and let's say more sexy ways of getting the data. But then, what is the data for? And the data is for analysis. Now analysis and most often it is used for us for, for analyzing trends. Now in the case of image analysis, yes, maybe you can check the trend, the, the images in 2010 and 2015 and you get a sense of it. But in terms of sentiment analysis, to what extent can we uh, get a fairly robust analysis of the sentiment so as to notice the change in the trends? We should open up ourselves. We need, I think, yes, yes, we need to open up, con have a conversation with other divisions that yeah. this is really happening and this is affecting our life. When you look into the literature, that we're contributing to, we don't see big data analysis coming in, right? It's still the surveys, and it's actually there's a move towards more like um, smaller scale things where you can establish the causality. It's coming back to there, but because the, the, the larger ones, the censuses are not as um, frequent as you want them to be, for example. It looks like more like private sector right now. It, I, I'm sure it will come to, 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 to us at one point, but right now it's more like this. Um, high frequency data for firms, a firm level analysis, rather than policy make, uh, public policy making. Because we're still like trying to focus on leaving no one behind. In uh, Monday, we have started learning Python using Anaconda <laughs> and uh, 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 taking Panda into account. So uh, you can see uh, um, we are also there and trying to think out of the box and to see how we can embark in this new era. We have a lot to predict in Africa. Maybe with data we can track poverty and then get it out of Africa.